Hello everybody and welcome back to Sable, my little experiment that I'm doing. I also, my settings apparently got messed up, so I'm hoping that everything looks okay. Seems okay on my end, so hopefully for you guys it looks alright. Time to go over here. Dang it, I just realized maybe I should bring my little my little guy. My little gal, I think we called her she. Soon. Just because it is much faster. The gliding is fast, but uh Oh, maybe I should. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I don't know if I'll be able to climb these. I should be able to climb these. Should be climbable. Oh, oh, I couldn't see it. I was like, oh, do I not use stamina up here? Whew. Okay, that was close. I just couldn't see it because it was the same color as the background. It is a, it's a close thing. Whew. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Probably should have floated here and just ran back for my machine. Dang it. I think, did it say I unlocked fast travel? <gasps> I did. That, I remember vaguely that that was something I didn't read all the way. Maybe I'll read it when I edit this. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> There's more over there. At least the bright colors. I also turned up the, uh, the detail, I guess? You could turn the detail up in this, and I did. A little bit. I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. We're good. And there's like nothing here. Just watch. But there's ruins and bright colors. What do you want me to do? And there were birds, and that looks like a temple or a pagoda of some sort. Do you do anything? Man! Well, that looks like something too. I, uh, I'm not sure if it is, but I'm going to assume it is. I guess does my... Oh, so unless I go somewhere, it really is not going to get a name. Whatever that ink looking thing is that I can't really tell on some things. I think I'd only want to fast travel for, um, like to get up high. That has like the. That's a figure that was in the temple. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, there's another one. But there was a figure over there.
I don't think I can climb that. Probably wouldn't have been able to jump off that onto there anyway. Look at me, leaving my machine behind like an idiot. <laughs> oh man. But I can whistle her? What was it I could do? This one's lower, at least. Oh, Climber. I think I was listing him off. We have Climber, Hunter, Cartographer, Machinist, Ibexi. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's like pointing me in the various directions. It looks like that one is probably just pointing to, maybe? It's really eerie seeing the sun move like that. Just seeing the shadows moving across the formations. Well, let's give this a whirl. I don't know if I've been up there already. <laughs> I don't think so. See, now I'm just kind of wandering. Like I realized. Oh, is that the. Is that the balloonist that I was seeing? I think it was. Well, let's go east. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I feel kind of bad. I feel like I should maybe stick some of these things out and try to figure them out, but I really just want to go. Q. Oh, and let's actually select for our quest. Let's at least have the Utari one out.
I'll probably do that next. I feel like that, I've kind of wandered and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm like, I, I don't think there's like a particular order. It's like you don't have to do, do what they tell you, but it might be a little easier. But I do want to see, oh, oh, smoke. And I want to get a mask. I'm not sure I've gotten like several articles of clothing already, but. Is that? You're a person. Ah, a glider. Haven't had one up here in a while. Oh, a salt harvester. It was like only yesterday I set off for my own gliding. Yeah, everybody does. Okay. Headed down to the Marrowbone Station in the wash I did. Seeing Pyrusta, I almost wet myself. Oh, okay. Could never work out if it was a natural rock formation or a statue someone had carved. Even overheard someone in a cry saying the thing was alive. A worm that big. Can you imagine? I think if I thought that could happen, I wouldn't sleep very well. I don't have a map for that place yet. I'm sure I'll stumble upon it. It's probably one of those things where you're supposed to kind of keep track of what people tell you. But I have no reference for that place. Welcome to the Waste Glider. What can I do for you? What are you doing out here? <laughs> well, the crines love salt. They love pink salt. They love blue salt. They love green salt. So we work out here. Skin slowly peeling away so they can have a lick of the good stuff. Uh, what? The waste is a tough place to be, but it pays well and it's quiet. There aren't many places like this in the midden, that's for sure. What can I do for you? A place called a midden. Uh, why would you be out here with your skin peeling away? What do you need salt for? In its raw form, this stuff is unusable. It needs to be processed before it's edible. If you want to try our salt and food, you'll have to head on west to the Red Sea in Acrea. We have an exclusive contract with the traders there. Can't be selling our goods to any old glider who stumbles past. Oh! You've come a long way, so I'll do you one better. Here's something for your bike over there. You're welcome. <laughs> see, uh, see you around. Interesting. I got color. I don't know if I can just apply the color, or if I need to... I, I assume I need to go to, like, a machinist shop again. Well, they were very nice. But, where did they say they said... East? East in the Midden. Maybe that's where... Oh, wait. Where was... Oh, at Burnt Oak Station. Well, I don't know what Midden... If Midden is associated with that or not. Let's go! I think, though, potentially the straight line isn't going to be the way to go. Because I think there's a giant rock formation, like cliff wall in the way. I mean, I did just waltz through here, I'm pretty sure. No, I came through here. Okay, so this... Yeah, I think this is cut off. I might have to go south, back around, or go north, somewhere new, and see if I could... Yeah. See if I can get around it.
glowing lights. Are they, um, and they mentioned the world building earlier, that something came in on the whale. I wonder if that's what they're calling some of these big ships. You have the look. Trellix pillar? something. Oh, that's kind of scared me. <laughs> it figures I'd find some scrap metal in these ships. I think I should definitely be able to find more, but... Oh no, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I don't know. Oh, can I... Okay. I wasn't sure if I could climb that. Repairing bikes. Is my bike gonna break? Can be traded at the scrapyard at Burnt Oak Station. It's like acting like I keep leave I keep leaving the Trollux pillar, but I'm not. Okay, this was a much easier way to get over here. <laughs> I'm just I'm just going. Going ham. I really love this pen and ink look, the flat shading on all of that. I'm a big fan. Holy cow. Big, big ship. Was that the way out? Okay, I get it. Oops. I was totally did oh, I definitely turned something on, okay. I feel like you should be able to potentially jump out of that hole onto there. Uh, I don't know. That this is still too high. 
it's like this other one would be more accessible over here. Oh, and there's another battery. Okay, perfect. I was like, do I have to switch the batteries all over all over the place? But if there's more batteries, that'd be good. Come on. Oh man. There we go. Okay. All right, I need to grab this battery. And throw it, maybe? Oh, and there's another one over there. Okay, good to know. I did not go for. Oh, never mind. I should probably put the battery here. So we're trying. Oh, okay. I see. We're trying to get this door to unlock, but I do have to move that battery around this one. And there's this, I forgot. I am not sure what this one does. <sighs> what is that over there? How come there's nothing on this side? But the oh no, hang on. Okay, I need to actually let this come here and be close to me. And potentially need to try to fly onto that one. I don't know if that's gonna work, but oh, but I can at least climb up. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Because that's too high, I think. I can stand kind of on the railing. No, okay, not very well. That was like a very brief thing I could do just to grab onto this other one. Oh, actually, let me grab the battery again and bring this one into the middle. I'm getting there, I think. This could be like a college thing, which is at least how I approached college when I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was like, I'll just take a bunch of classes that sound interesting, and then I will major in whatever I end up having the most classes in, right? And that could be kind of how you approach this machinist mask thing. 
Like, well, whichever one I end up having the most talent, or at least running into the most, I'll, uh... Oh my gosh! No, no, please! Oh gosh, I almost screamed too because I was like getting floaty there for a second. Uh, crouch. Oh, it was just money. Awesome. I mean, money is useful. Don't get me wrong, but. And I think. Yeah, the battery's over there. Oh no. Okay. I need to catch it on this side. I did it! Achievement unlocked! I did it! Yay! <gasps> no! Okay, <laughs> I was like, no! <laughs> oh, dang! Hello? AI? Maybe? I oh the gift of gab okay I is that a mask <laughs> looks like a mask I encounter a strange luminous figure it greets me before I even have a chance to be frightened new user found hello please enter your new username I find myself whispering my own name it suddenly feels odd in my mouth like this is the first time I've said it aloud welcome Sable I've set up a new account for you I ask the mysterious figure about themselves. I am the ship's simu I am the ship's simulated anthropomorphic. Yeah, okay, we use that word in anthropology all the time. Registry and informational nexus, but you can call me Saren. Saren, oh no. <laughs> I ask Saren what they are doing here. I am not entirely sure, Sable. Most of my data modules appear to be corrupted. I am attempting to access ship records. Saren goes still for a moment. Transferring ship's log to your inbox. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. Recording, oi. The panel blinks to life. Strange markings and symbols I assume to be ancient text spill across the screen as the background colors flash wildly. And then, with a strange buzzing like old fabrics pulling apart, there are voices. Within the long-range sensors, Captain, we are picking up some anomalous, an anomalous readings from the upper atmosphere. Could be a plasma storm, but the radiation signature doesn't quite match. Hmm, maintain current, maintain approach at current speed. Once our time to destination. 46 Earth hours, give or take. Good, let's keep an eye on those energy signatures and get Saren in on it too, for pattern recognition. Captain, we need to purge our reactor soon. If we don't, I know, I'm aware, I'm aware of the risks, Ellis, but I am not purging in the middle of space. We follow the protocol and the recording fails and the static continues. A few button pushes bring silence in a screen that looks navigable in some way, but I can't decipher anything. No unread messages. Okay. Historical connection. View quest log. Interesting. For more of Saren's terminals in here? Like in... Or is Saren's terminals... Are Saren's terminals like spread out across the vast deserts and sands? Listen, Saren, I'm gonna assume that most of your stuff is elsewhere and I'll have to come back to you at some point. But I wish you well. Did they have more to say? Hang on. Just like walk away. <laughs> Bye. I say hello. No one read. Is that it? Oh, okay. Bye then. Saren's dealing with the existential crisis of having massive memory loss, apparently. Interesting! This is cool! And we're getting more of the, like, it seems like, at least from the last two, like, ship reporting things we've seen, that they were. This p p planet was potentially not seated gracefully. It was, um. Oh, look. 
Oh, I probably need to unlock more of the terminals by unlocking these doors, potentially. Um, but it seems like maybe there was crash landings that happened instead. This seems like more of a shipyard. It doesn't really seem like it was the place where everybody crashed. But, um... But yeah, there's at least some power left in this one. Interesting. I think I will go ahead and call this one here, though. I appreciate you guys uh, running around the desert with me. I think I am not going to record anymore for a while. I'm not sure when I will be able to. I'm trying to be able to play on the laptop while I'm out and about and record just like little games like this. Um, but when this one goes up, I'm not sure how many more will come up for like another couple of weeks. So we'll see. I'll try to keep you guys updated though in like the community tab or the little update things that you can do on YouTube or whatever. But thank you all so much for joining me on this. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And Adam, my other tr uh, sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You both are awesome. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest and who I super appreciate. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.